John is now for Mornis. West Ham ledge, Tony Cotty. Morning, Tony. Morning, TC. How are you? Oh, Ali. Tony, they can't boom no, tonight, come on, Tony, surely. please. Uh, Al, I think they will. Um, no. It's, uh, I think it's it's just that huge frustration and disappointment as as a hammer. Um, Al, I've been there myself. I, I, as you remember, I, I left back in 1988, record transfer, went to Everton, and I came back as a West Ham player after being a West Ham fan and being at the club for nine years. And um, I got booed. And... Um, I think it's the frustration of, of you know, as a fan now. What you what you got to remember as a fan, you can't change your club. You know, if you if 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 West Ham lose five 0 to Arsenal tonight, you're not going to get up in the morning and say I'm going to be an Arsenal fan. You don't do that. You stick with your club. But as a player, obviously, you move on and you do what you think's right in your career and that. And I, I think as brilliant as Declan was and he lifted the trophy and I understand all that, I think there will be a frustration and a little bit of anger towards him that he left the football club and it's just part of football. It's how it is at West Ham. They're very, very loyal and they don't want you to leave. But, you know, I left a long time ago. I go back there now and they love me. It's not a problem. But when I left in 88, they wasn't happy. I get, I get that, TC, but at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, you've heard Big Moisey there, brilliant captain, brilliant player to have around the place, never a moment's bother, lifted the European trophy. Another way to look at it, he's earned the club, what, what was it? What was the transfer for you, tell me, over £100 million? Pound, it was under, yeah, it, whatever it, now, I don't care what MD says, some of the West Ham fans might say he could have stayed. Could he? Tony, do you know what I mean? I think the powers to beat West Ham would say, look, thanks very much, but all of a sudden we were getting offered 108, 110 million, whatever it is. That's brilliant money for West Ham. Yeah, of course it is, Ali. And he didn't cost the, the club a penny. He obviously joined from Chelsea as a kid. And yeah, the club's earned 100. From a business point of view, of course, we all understand it was a lot of money. You've got to take the money and the club. Ultimately, they did what they did. They held on. There was Man City involved. They pushed the fee up and they got as much as they could. It, it, it's just that disappointment. I've, I, I've said before, and I'll say it again, I think the moment West Ham lost to Frankfurt in the Europa League the year before they won it, I think Declan made his mind up because he, want, he wanted to play Champions League football. It wasn't about money. And, you know, it, it, it wasn't about winning trophies because he just won the trophy West, with West Ham. It was about the fact he wanted to play in the Champions League. I think he'd made his mind up and it must have been really, really difficult for him to leave the football club. And um, it, it's just one of those scenarios. I, I, you know, I really hope I'm wrong, boys. Honestly, I, I hope I sit there tonight. I'll be at the game. I hope I sit there and everyone in the whole ground gives him a stand innovation. I'm just not sure that's going to be the case. So another player, um, you know, I, I can see maybe in eight, ten weeks could be on his way, and uh, I hope not. From Everton's sake, if he can keep fit, Calvert Lewin, of course, beautiful goal against yeah. West Ham, and he's looking silky again. Uh, and you look at some of the, the the teams in the Premier, big big clubs. Don't get me wrong, Everton's a big club, Tony, but they're looking for a centre forward, and I just wonder, could he fill a gap somewhere? Well, he could, Al, and you know he's a good player as well. And there's a lot of clubs that are looking for centre forwards, aren't they? West Ham being one of them as well, you know, because Antonio's done great, but you know he's a converted centre forward. They need he's 32, 33. West Ham need a forward. I think Arsenal need a forward. Chelsea need a forward. There's some there's some big clubs out there that need centre forwards. I, ho I hope Calvert Lewin doesn't leave Everton. You know, I'd like to think he's at the club. He's enjoying it. Obviously, money talks, as we've already explained with Declan, but he makes a massive difference to that Everton team. I was at the game on Sunday. Fantastic goal. Lovely little touch. Wasn't it? Put it, in. it was a brilliant goal. Oh, Absolutely. I, I love the touch, mate. I, I, and I knew you'd love it as well. The touch just opens up the shot for him. Brilliant finish as well. Yeah, because you, you, you know what it's like, Ali. You don't get out as well. You don't get much time in the box. You've got to create the, 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 the space sometimes. It's just a little bit of movement, a little bit of skill. I thought it was a fabulous goal. I really did. And he makes such a difference. He leads the line for, for that Everton team. And, you know, with the potential 12-point deduction coming as well, or whatever Oof, it might be, yeah. they're, they're going to need his goal to stay in the Premier League. So I think Everton have, have got to keep him at the football club. They cannot allow him to leave in January. All right, end of the season, it's a bit different and you can talk things sensibly. But no rash decisions. They need Calvert-Lewin. And he needs to stay fit as well. He can't keep getting as injured yeah. as he has been. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.